Whoa. Hey, high tech pan. All right. Good morning, everybody. This is Charlie. Charlie just got a haircut. He's something. He's a pretty guy. He's a pretty, pretty boy. Hey, so today we're going to talk about how to finally silent the silent wheel for your hamster. It's uh, awfully disappointing when your kid puts out, you want to get down? Whoa! When your kid puts down, puts out 50 bucks, 50 bucks for this guy right here so that she can sleep at night because hamsters are nocturnal like uh, like the great uh, metal band Nocturnal Rights, Eighth Sin, great album. They only put an album out every couple of years, but I wish they would do more. They're phenomenal. Eighth Sin, I think, is my fave. Anyway. Uh, this is sold on Amazon. It's called a silent wheel. It's a nice wheel. However, because the little amps hamster has some mass to it and centrifugal forces at work and whatnot, when that little thing gets running in here, no matter how uh, um, stable the base might be, you end up with this all night long because the hamster runs all night long. So it's the wheel itself is great, but it's far from silent because they went you know, inexpensive on the bracketing. No matter how stable your base might be, you still have this wobble in the bracket. So how disappointing to spend 50 bucks and have this still make all sorts of racket. So I'm gonna show you how to cheaply and quickly fix this. Mm. All right, all right, we're back. Now, don't laugh, don't laugh, but this, like I said, is really cheap and efficient, but it works. You'll need an 8-inch bracket like this, probably even a 10, and you'll need two sheetrock grabber screws, just like that, super small. You'll need a piece of 2x6, and if I'm not mistaken, that right there is an old piece of form board. Looks like concrete on it. And so you won't have to mill, machine, or cut this bracket at all. It's just a shelf bracket from a hardware store. It's another $10 or $8, something like that, depending on where you live. But you can swoop in and be the hero. So, and then also, you need three little rubber feet. Now, why three and not four? Because if you put four on this and it's not level, you're still going to get a rock. So the only way to avoid a rock is to have three points of contact then you're sure of having a good base. Two in the back, and then you want one right under here on the front. But screw those sheetrock grabbers right down into the board if you want to cut this off before or after. Totally up to you. The nice thing about not cutting it first is if you don't like the way it works out, you can take the bracket back because you haven't modified it at all. All right, then... <clears throat> Dropped my bearing. Then you take your wheel, and again, no uh, machining or anything is necessary. You slip that in the bracket, a little star washer goes on. I mean, it couldn't be any easier. You need the two by six bracket that sits in the rat in the little rodent's cage, and now it jumps along happy as a clam and you don't have all night long. It's nice and silent, and it's finally, the silent wheel is finally silent, all right? So moms and dads, swoop in, be a hero, fix your kid's silent wheel so they can get a good night's sleep and do well at school. Old Guy Jammin' is out. See ya.